Hello, you are welcome. In this video, let us understand how to make automated college timetable. That means how we can generate the timetable automatically. So that is the main aim of this video. In this project, we will demonstrate this how we can do this. So it's a vb.net project. So here we want to generate the timetable automatically. So first let us understand how we can do this. Fine. So in order to generate a timetable we all know. So you supposed to have a course. So what course for uh, timetable. Then what are the subjects. Right. Then teachers. Then teacher subject allocation. Then you can also make manual class allocation. Our order is already present. We can change it actually. So timetable can be changed. Then next is the auto generation. Auto generation. So now how do we do this auto generation? So there is a question. So we all know like in the timetable. So let's say there are five classes. There are weekdays. So one to five days. So let's start with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And assume four hours. So totally five subject. So the first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour. So now here if you say subject one, S1. And this is the teacher one. So same as subject two, T2, subject three, T3 like this. So if you allocate subject one here and see to it subject one again will not repeat. And that teacher one should come over here. And there are multiple teachers for the subject one. Then this teacher has to say, for example, again subject one. So it may be T2. Right. Again here subject 3, 4, 5. So it may be 5. So T5. So again subject 3, T3. Teacher I will take randomly. So then subject 1, 5, 3 already present. So they, not, they should not repeat again here like. So therefore it may be subject 2. And then T2. Same way here every classes teacher and the corresponding subject okay first teacher sorry first subject and the corresponding teacher has to allocate because we already link teacher to subject here so from this table we need to fetch and then you have to put and here are the subject for the particular course so according to this subject if there are five so therefore it should generate the all the five subject if there are six subject it should generate for all the six subject so this is a main concept let's see that how we can uh, do this in the project so this project is developed using vb.net and the backend is SQL Server. And uh, we are using Microsoft SQL Server as a backend. Here we can create the database and the tables. So now we'll see the demo. Fine. So let's start uh, Visual Studio 2019. So here it is. And you can see that these are the forms which are using in this project. And if you go to Server Explorer, we can link this database here. So I'll just delete the old one so I don't want this. So let's add connections and then browse. So generally you need to keep this database in the so is a bin folder then debug folder. So here these are the tables. So student table, subject table, staff, then uh, profession. This is the employee detail. So here is the employee assigned. So this is the, the timetable we need to generate here. So in this, what are the columns we are having? Course name, semester, subject name, day, period, and the employee code. Employee code is nothing but the teacher. Which teacher has to come in this particular location. Fine. So let me run this and I will show you this.
so here is a flash screen and here is a login form so I'll just make the login form to be maximized window to be maximized and check the flash screen and this window screen is maximized okay and here is a my project here you can specify which form has to come first so therefore I select flash screen so save all these things run so this is a timetable manager or you can also call it a timetable generator or automatic timetable generation so here straight away we can able to view the timetable okay so after that you will come to MDA parent so here is the MDA parent and you have some background picture here uh, you can put some nice picture okay here is some like wall is there so we can change that one um, as a background uh, here we have a college details for each college you are doing next is the course detail so what are the courses available in the college that we have to enter okay so already enter MCA BCA so the two courses already we already enter here and here is the qualifications of the teachers okay what are the qualifications teachers having that you have to write down here uh, MCA M Tech let's say B so next designation so here is the assistant professor lecturer professor so all designations we need to enter and next next is the subject okay so this is important in each semester what are the subject so if you want to make more like a real time so then you need to enter all the subject properly so it will take some time but if you do this naturally your project looks more attractive more meaningful therefore it will take much time to enter all the data so otherwise what we do is we will simply put ABCD ABCD that won't do much so better to practice to enter complete data real time data so next is the staff detail here are the staff members who are all the members so we are entered all the member details here the same you need to enter all the member details so next is the subject what are the subject these teachers can take so that we have to specify over there so this is the staff code so what subject they are handling all the subject names are given over there so all the codes are provided so this is the subject code so therefore this particular teacher will handle this subject so these two are we can do it manually otherwise if you go to auto generate now you can see that I want to generate so now we have a subject that is entered here and you have staff members is entered and then we we'll link the subject to teacher here and now if I click display you can see that timetable generated automatically if I click it again so you can see that the empty boxes will come in different locations and also you can see that subject and the corresponding teachers also will change so now you can see that bus two period empty and here is the subject and this is the corresponding teacher you can see the subject name changed again teacher is changed here so now it's generating automatically so which one is suitable that we can retain and the rest of them you can omit so once you say okay this is fine then you can save this and we can finalize it so same way you can generate for all the semesters so this saves a lot of time for the college uh, to make a timetable so every year they need to spend a lot of time to make the timetables so if you make this kind of project so this will save their time and they can not utilize this program and they can generate the timetable automatically and in the report we have a stop list who are the staff members that list is there now I will show you like how this timetable generator works so here is the auto generation uh, form so this is the grid view this is the data grid view and here is the course name that is the Kumba box 1 so here is a semester Kumba box 2 so when I click display it should display automatically it has to display the timetable so here I will show you like how this whole code works 
fine so here is first thing you need to import the system.data.sql client so next we declaring some variables here uh, d var c1 var r1 var i var all these things and this is to close the form we need to close and here is important okay so c1 var r1 var is equal to 0 and 1 we initialize the values and here we take all the weak names 1 2 3 4 5 so after friday and initially we initialize the grid view with column count is equal to 8 and row count is equal to 13 that means there are totally 13 rows and the 8 columns so next we we on the on the top actually so here you can see on the top you want to put the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so that is what is done with this code after that in the next row we are displaying the names week names monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday that is displayed so next we have one arrays actually s var array sc var array f var array three arrays we are using and here you have four column here you have two columns so we are taking subject name subject type w hours from subject table where course name is equal to what are the course you selected in the text box combo box one and the corresponding semester so we select all the subject names and what is the subject type it is and what is the total number of hours so all will be transferred to the this scvar so scvar is a array the next employee code subject name from the stop subject table that means we allocate the uh, teacher to subject from that table uh, we take the course name which course it is and we collect it and we transfer to fvar then here is the auto generation so subject select var is, is less than or equal to subject select final var that means how many subjects are there still that so it should continuously do the job because in the do while loop so it should do the work so then we select the first subject then subject type then we select the employee from the stop subject table for the course and the subject and we read the value to the subject variable and if subject variable type is equal to practical we want to do this if that else is theory we want to do this so if it's a practical we have a practical code over here so we want two period for the practical so therefore we allocate we'll check like where is the free two period in the grid view that will check it out and we allocate in case of theory we record only one period therefore we will check because what are the rows are available or what are the columns are available in that we need to go and check whether it is empty or not if it is not empty you cannot allocate the uh, particular period so therefore first we search it out is a free if it is free then we will allocate and also we are randomly generating the numbers so uh, by randomly generating the numbers uh, we check that particular period is empty or not if that is not empty we again will check for where is empty and we will do that so that way this code continues and then is keep on checking uh, wherever the possible chances are there uh, there it will allocate actually and and finally we will generate the timetable so if possible we uh, can write this code separately uh, like how you can generate the whole thing and i can explain you line by line if you are interested so check it out and then you can send us a comment so what are you thinking about this project so let's try yourself if you are successful well and good so otherwise any help from our side we'll try to help you out fine so these are things which is covered in this project hope you understand the concept so we have more project in our channel so if you go to our channel there we already done like how you can do the vb.net projects so particularly go to videos so and then scroll down if you are using mobile so there you also you can go to videos and then search for it so when you scroll down we have a lot of videos a lot of project explanation so you can see that how to install visual studio 2019 then we have a video like how to create MDA form, child form, how to create a login form, then how to work with SQL Server. So we provided more videos. So particularly VB.NET is concerned. So apart from this VB.NET, we have PHP projects, we have ASP.NET projects, we have Python projects here. So please find some time free. Whenever you are free, please come to this channel and then learn. 
So in order to get a good job, so you should know practically like how to do the project. That is what very very important. So for, please use this channel. Also you can suggest our channel to your friends and family members. So we are doing any CS course. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel. So please subscribe. Okay. Thank you very much.